Good to see you, Jake. It's nice to see everyone again. So I am the Victorian State Representative for the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation. So I run all things down here in Victoria. So all our state comps and events and things like that with the uh, very helpful uh, Andrew Lee in my corner there, who's our Vice President. Um, but we've also got a few things in the works uh, for women this year. Um, so I've kind of taken it upon myself as one of the only women <coughs> in the city um, to plan some fun things for us that are still kind of being finalised, um, but there should be some very very exciting things happening this year, which will be amazing. <laughs> but they should be able to hear me now. There we go. Something's wrong with my microphone. Yeah, you can all hear me. You can all hear me. Let's get back to it. They've all just watched me in the settings, fix it all up. Now we're back to it. Fantastic, everyone. Thanks for that, guys. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, so, Selena's jumped in, Victorian State. Everyone knows uh, where I'm at with it all. So, Selene, I'm going to start with you. Why, why arm wrestling? What's happened? Why have you come into this magnificent sport of arm wrestling? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, for me, it was pretty basic. I was dating an arm wrestler and I didn't really get a choice. He taught me how to top roll on our first date and then it was just kind of, yeah, downward spiral from there. My first comp was the 2016 Nationals. Um, we didn't really have any girls show up and they needed someone to fill a place um, and I was a female on the day to fill a place um, and just kind of fell in love with it from there. I loved the technical aspect because obviously I'm not a very big, strong person, but I loved the idea that you could manipulate uh, your opponent's strength and yours and use their weaknesses against them or use their strength against them. Uh, and I just love the technical aspects of it because I'm not someone from a strength background. And it was, it felt a little bit empowering. It was a little fun fact about myself. I always love telling people um, because it's not something that many people have really heard of before. It's still very much an underground sport here in Australia. So it's definitely something unique, but it's got a great community feel to it. Like I love all these girls here, even though I haven't met some of them. Um, <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's got a great community feel to it, which, which I love, but yeah. So it started through Andrew, of course. Yeah, I reckon I've got an inkling. I reckon one or more of these fantastic ladies would be dating an arm wrestler as we speak. I am looking straight at you, Tina, because you were nodding yeah. your head. And we're going to move to South Australia. We're going to go down to Tina. First of all, Tina, 
Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for coming on. Hey. Introduce yourself. Well, um, it's a little bit like Selena. I, um, my partner was at arm wrestling and he was competing in the 2016. And so I was watching Selena and Kaylee and Sarah compete that competition. So that's how I fell in love with it, was that I competed against Kaylee wow. uh, after pulling, after the comp, and I fell in love with it. Just the love of the sport. Yeah. So it's interesting. So one stayed at an arm wrestler and then another one just happened to be walking past and was around there and just <laughs> fell in love with it. So what is it like at South Australia? Uh, what's it like down there? What is the, the women's scene like? Um, we are a very close-knit um, arm wrestling uh, group of girls and the boys. I mean, the boys are welcome, like, um, yeah, how do I say it? We were just close knit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm no good with telecast. <laughs> yeah. How many? How many females? Sorry. What? What club are you at, Tina? Um. Actually, uh, I was originally in with the Adelaide boys, um, but I've actually moved to the country. So, as in while a regional at the moment. But I we, we travel to Adelaide every when when we can. Yeah. So, but I think as far as I know, I think it's maybe two or three. Maybe four girls in Adelaide. Oh, so that's not too bad. That's, yeah. that's some that's some growing numbers. So, um, are they all roughly around the same time time frame as in in the sport as yourself, or are you just showing them a thing or two on the table? Uh, just um, showing a few techniques, but um, uh, Matt Connolly and Tim Graham and a few of the other boys are there to help guide the girls as well. So, with the techniques and the top rolls and the hooks and stuff. Ah, so yeah, so you hang out with uh, with Shelton. Yes, she's very I good. Recognise yeah. that uh, yeah. South Australian Titan shirt. I'll be getting myself one. I believe Celine's going to get one as well. Not going to lie, it is a bit of a rip off of the Victorian Silverbacks one. But this isn't about <laughs> territorial world wars, guys. It's just all about fun. And while you're ready to get yourself an Aussie Army as a shirt, that is okay. But we're not here to plug stuff. No, it is. It is fantastic. And we're going to stay. In South Australia, we're going to keep going round and round this uh, wonderful world of Australia. So, from what I've heard, Shelton Bird is the word. You know that song? A b -b bird, 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 bird is the word. A I'm <laughs> sure <laughs> that is the first time you have heard that. But, Shelton, uh, f first of all, welcome to the stream. In introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Shelton. Um, I got into the sport two years ago. Um, my partner, Matt, was in it for about three months before me and they were doing a fitness expo and I volunteered to come and help and just fill out the forms and whatnot. And we, there was Tina there and, oh, what's her name? Me You Speed. And they tossed me in for a little super match with Me You and I had no idea what I was doing. I literally just, my first time on the table, they were like, you just do this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, literally, I lost horribly and I was just like, okay. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. So then I just got into it through that. Oh, so you took oh. a bit of a motivational route. Yes. Fair I like to lose for the motivation. So was it was it an easy loss, your first one? I think it was. I can't remember it too much. It was over <laughs> in a flash, so... Oh, mine was, mine was absolutely embarrassing. I pulled a competition without even training and waited another two years before I came and trained. And I was just hoping Natalie would jump on because it was actually her husband that I pulled the first time, Brett Coots at a WAL qualifier. So found out about the tournament the, the night before. But fantastic that, have you come, that you have come. So what I want to ask you, Shelton, is when you turn up to a training session, because let's be honest, it is uh, predominantly, you know, overrun by, by gentlemen. You know, you get to see more men in the sport. Uh, that's just the sad truth at the moment. Uh, what is it? What is it like? Did it was it okay because you've got you know a, a foot in the door with you saying your your partner, or is it more of a oh holy crap? There's ten fifteen guys screaming and shouting and probably stinking. Um, the stinking part, yes, that's one issue I have with them. But um, apart from that, it's very welcoming. They're all lovely guys. It's more like. A family aspect if anything and everyone's willing to teach you something so it's always I find it easy to jump on the table with them but 
it's not every girl's cup of tea. And if I'm not there, I could understand why some of them would be like, this is not something I want to walk into. I'm giving you a platform, an opportunity. Let's just screw up the stock standard answers and throw it up. I've spoken to Matt Connolly. I've spoken to Tim Graham and Taryn Broad down there in South Australia. Give me the dirt. Give me the gossip. This could be some sort of new reality show. So I'm, they're not nice people. Come on now. Give me uh, something. Oh, I don't know if I have anything, though. <laughs> ah, no. Uh, anyone, if you do get a chance to hit up the Adelaide area, uh, the South Australian Titans are doing fantastic things. Have Have you, before uh, before I move around the country, uh, I'll stay with you for a moment, Shelton. Has anyone, uh, has has any ladies of arm wrestling turned up? Because you, as, as we mentioned, you had the foot in the door, you had the... The, the partner and everything. So you, you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into. Has there been times where uh, women have turned up and just went, nah, not happening? We, we did have one woman walk in and I did some work with her and she was like, yeah, I'll see you next week. And then she never came back. Yep. And I was just like, oh, okay. But there'll always be one of them or two of them that will come back and you're just like, okay, this is great. Like we're hoping to build up those numbers more, but it's going to be a long ride, hopefully. Oh, Oh. that's all right. We will get there and that's what I'm hoping. Even if this uh, live stream just gets one woman to come from out of nowhere and go, hang on, I actually live near there. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to an arm wrestling training because that's what we want. We need more women in the sport because it is phenomenal. And the one really thing I love about women being in arm wrestling is women can beat the men because I know personally because I get pinned all the time and I don't care who it's from. But I love it and I hope you guys are pinning men. And I reckon the next person I speak to has probably pinned a few guys. In her time, and I'm talking about Sarah Rodwell. Sarah, welcome. How are you? Good, thank you. Where are, are you based? You, you tend to be in Western Australia, then you're in Northern Territory, then you're in Queensland. You're a very well-travelled person. I'm very well-travelled. No, I'm based in Darwin, but, but I am currently in Perth at the moment. See? This weekend, anyway. <laughs> So then, how, how, for, for people that, that don't know, um, yeah, tell, tell everyone your background. Tell everyone how you, how you got into this sport. I got involved. Uh, so probably in 2015, um, like I've got a strength sports background. And in 2015 when I was doing powerlifting, I had um, a fella come up and go, oh, you're pretty strong. You should try arm wrestling. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, <laughs> give anything a go I'll have a crack at that and uh came to some trainings uh that was when Darwin had a bit more of a group up there training and I uh, went to 2015 nationals I think was my first arm wrestling experience I think Ooh. there was four or six of us or yeah there wasn't too many there at that time uh, I think the last but, time well actually the only time I believe I've seen you compete was 2019 Arnold's Arnold's, yes, I usually do Arnold's yes. um, as well, yeah. So and you would have seen. you in better shape than Devon, and he was our special yeah. guest for the year. <laughs> and yeah, you just came in and, and powerhoused and, and placed at that. What What's the arm wrestling scene? I mean, when you think of Darwin, you don't think of arm wrestling. What's the scene like up there? I am the scene. <laughs> <laughs> it is me. Oh. Uh, there used to be a, a group and there, there were actually quite uh, a few women up here arm wrestling, but they were uh, getting involved in quite a, a few other sports. So they dropped off and then I was arm wrestling with Taz for a while. Uh, but it's, it's probably been a good couple of years since I've had, um, uh, there's been like any sort of arm wrestling group up in Darwin. So hence when I'm usually interstate, I try and hook up with one of the clubs so I can get a bit of table time. Otherwise, it's just me with the pulley on the table or in the gym. Oh, and that's just so yeah. boring. It's boring. <laughs> Anyone that has watched uh, my podcast just knows I'm just over ca- watching people on cable pulleys. And I know we're <laughs> starved of competition. So I can't imagine because I get to have table time whenever I want. So I'm very lucky. So I cannot yeah. imagine 
How boy I would fly yeah. to Perth as well. You know, all the people from Perth watching, we all know Perth. Meh. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> like, um, so who have you been training no, with at good. Perth? Well, I was lucky. I got in uh, contact with Luke uh, Ramponi down here um, and he set up a arm wrestling session on the Thursday and there was a couple of women that came down for that. So it was really good. It was so good to, like, get back on the table and my, my arms were feeling good. So it was good to have a good long session and didn't pull up too bad. I actually pulled up better than what I thought I would. Yeah, so, beautiful. Good. Does that interfere with your with your strength sports? Because you're you've come from a different sport. Does the arm wrestling training interfere, or is your? I mean, because in in the most polite way possible, you're in phenomenal shape, and I mean that in a strength sports way. So, <laughs> yeah. do is your is your knowledge good enough to have a good balance, or have you sat there and noticed some of your strength sports have been affected because of this? No, I think it. it it definitely can have an impact on, um, say, like when I'm doing strongman, like my arms don't do it, don't like doing log. So <laughs> <laughs> an overhead press movement, but um, the, the elbows on the lockout is just like, oh, fuck these arm wrestling elbows. But, uh, oh, sorry, excuse the language. Um, right. But, uh, um, yeah, no, apart from that, it's not too bad. As long as you manage, like, your, your training and your, your recovery and, and your work, everything and around that like you you can usually sort of pull up to be able to well for me i pull up to fit it all in yeah beautiful beautiful all right we'll keep we'll keep moving on we'll get back to everyone i'm glad everyone's kind of like moving and not staying still if you watched the last live stream it was hilarious i had a guest an up-and-coming phenomenal puller named henry muller and he did not move. It looked like he was frozen. It was absolutely hilarious. So it's good to see you guys nodding and agreeing or things like that. Just having a look at some of the comments. Um, first of all, my sound's working, so that's always good. Uh, Rich Gibb reckons that uh, we need to hold a national titles in Darwin. So shout out to Richard. You might have just made Sarah very happy. If you've got any influence there, Richard, uh, go for it. Hollywood Matt Connolly, who cares what he says? No, he's saying great work. Tina and Shelley. Speaking of training, I'm heading down to open the club now. Ah, oh, fantastic. So South Australia, train on a Sunday night. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. So how long, uh, we'll go with you, Tina. How long does, uh, do, usually does your training sessions go for? Uh, the Adelaide boys will probably most likely train for two hours every Sunday. Um, sometimes it goes over. Um, depending on if we do king of the table, so yeah. yeah, so do you get on the king of the table and show them what for? Oh yeah, definitely. Yes, Howdy, Love what about it. you, Shelton? I try. I try. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. That's all we want. That's good. That's all. That's. That's all we want. You get on there. I tried to do a king of the table the other day and it was uh, Celine's partner, Andy. So he was impossible to move. So I just lied on the table. So I tried anything. So just do whatever you can. Wear, wear some dirty, dirty socks. Now, I just want to move over. Kaylee, if you'd like to unmute yourself. I'm very interested in this. I believe if my research has done me right, you're a part of the new car, no, yeah, Newcastle Arm Wrestling Club. Yes. Where did you guys come from? It is We're just new. Out of nowhere, bang, like that. And then suddenly I'm seeing photos, everything, and you're getting numbers there. And I'm seeing women there. I'm seeing men there. I think in one of the photos, I even saw a dog there. Kaylee, introduce yourself and tell me all about this fantastic arm wrestling club that we're all finding out about. So it's brand new. We started this year. Uh, Jacob's our president and I'm the VP. Basically, we were traveling down to Sydney to to pull and that's, you know, four hours of driving round trip gets to be a lot. <laughs> so he had been toying with creating a club uh, and the more involved I got and a couple other people, we just started telling him just do it, you know. Um, so he did. And I've been a part of trying to get that up and running. And our, our mascot, Loki, he is the dog that you'll see in some of the photos. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're super excited to have it going. And we couldn't be happier because we had no idea how many people were going to show up that first night. We were really like, you know, fingers crossed. And then it turned out to be really good enough that 
you know, even if some drop, we'll have enough each week. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, it is fair. So, it, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm mumbling my words because I'm just so excited. I was so excited when this came because you always hear of uh, the Sydney because they're bringing the power with three or four R's in their name. And I'm like, there's got to be something else in New South Wales. And this has popped up. So when you say you started this year, like like when? When did you start? Uh, so our uh, O-Week was, because we're run through the university, it was literally two weeks ago. So we got, oh. uh, I think we got over 100 people put their name down for interest. And then on the first night, I reckon it was probably about 30 people showed up. So... Wow, that's huge oh, for a right. first night. Yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. We were very, so, very happy with that. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what I'm finding so exciting about the sport of arm wrestling in Australia because it is just picking up. And then the thought of even to go into a university and uh, hire a room or something like that, um, that's unbelievable. So out of the 30... Um, not including yourself, how many how many females did you get in there? Uh, not including myself. On the first week, it was two. And then on the next week, we had one of them was the same girl. And then there was a different girl that showed up. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. That's a start. That's a start. Yeah. So Three weeks I'm ago, there was no arm wrestling club in Newcastle. So I think this is fantastic. What nights do you train? On Tuesday night. Tuesday nights. What time? What time? Give us. Let's throw out some details. Throw out some details. So we're on from five thirty to seven thirty, but realistically, we always run over. Um, and it's just a. If you've ever been at Newcastle Uni, it's under Bar on the Hill. It's its own separate room. Uh, yeah, we just anytime from five thirty onwards, give it a go. Beautiful. How many tables have you got there? We've got three at the moment. Yep. Uh, and we've got another one under construction. One of them's actually borrowed, so. We'll return that, but we'll end up with four. Beautiful. That That is fantastic. Guys, if you are in the Newcastle area on a Tuesday night, I'm usually at work about that time, unfortunately, so I can't make it. Plus, I live away too far away. I live in a different state. So I, but I would love to come and see each and every club. I think it's fantastic, and I hope more people that are in the chat, everyone's being uh, fantastic here. Uh, in the comments, uh, trying to get through some of the comments. Uh, it's great that another club has come up because we know some of the main four or five mainstays. So the fact, uh, Kaylee, and now that you're the vice president or have put your hand up because it is, uh, as Celine would know, it's a very uh, thankless job. Uh, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's no money involved and things like that. So I think... It is unbelievable. Now, I'm coming back home. I'm going to come back home. This lady has been waiting patiently, what I assume is a beanbag in her bedroom or something like that with some nice photos. We have uh, trains with myself and Celine at the House of Pain uh, here in Melbourne. We have Yvonne. Yvonne, welcome. Introduce yourself. Let the world know who you are. Hi, I'm Yvonne. I... have been going with Celine and Jay doing arm wrestling for maybe over a year now. I joined through a friend and he was telling me like, oh yeah, I do arm wrestling. I was like, oh yeah, sure. Why not try it out? Because I've always been interested in trying different kinds of sports. You know, I've done even archery in the past. So what's, you know, arm wrestling, something new, something fun. And it was telling me Celine was interested in getting more women in the sport. So I came and joined and I've been hooked ever since. You Don't mind have, me. and even threw in an arm wrestling pun. Well done to you to throw that in. No, you have come in and you are making leaps and bounds. You even competed at 2019 Nationals, which was fantastic. It was really good to see you jump on, and you're very, very consistent there. So it was so a friend got you in there. So it's it's very interesting. A lot of us watch the TV. Um, you know, we watch our YouTubes or if you're born in the 80s like myself, it's Sylvester Stallone while you're in the sport. So, Yvonne, you've been told, uh, uh, addressed by a friend that's got you into the sport. Now, do you go and, once you're, once you're hooked now, do you go and watch a lot of it on TV? Do you have favourite pullers or are you just like, I just love what's going on here. I'm going to try and smash everybody. Like, I probably this year might get into more watching more people online, you know, learn some more, more more techniques and how other people have been doing the sport. 
But all in all, it's just something I look forward to coming to every week. Like it's a great session, you know, there's great people there, always learning something new. It's just it's just a great experience, you know, for a girl as well. You know, everybody thinking it's intimidating, but honestly, it's like the best thing I've joined with everything going on in the world. So I'm really happy that I've joined and I'm, you know, stuck to it. Oh, we are absolutely stoked. And I'm, so, I'm sure Celine's stoked as well because she gets to train with someone uh, very similar height and weight. So I believe that she's very happy as well, as am I. So then... <laughs> So then we're, we're probably in the most smelliest club in Australia. We don't have air conditioning. We don't believe in it. It's fantastic. And we get lots of numbers. So, so Yvonne, what was your, what, when you first, your friends like bang, got this club, come have a look. What was your first thought when you came in? Cause it can get pretty hectic at the house of pain in Melbourne. The first thing I thought was it's bloody hot in this room. That's <laughs> all I could think of. And it's every week I complain about it, but I'm mm-hmm. still coming. Still every training. week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah all in all it was just great like learning the techniques you know learning that there's so much more behind it than just brute strength and that you know everybody was so nice you know being a girl or you know not going too easy on me but enough that I'll be able to understand it and learn it along the way so it was really great and again that's why I'm still here yes beautiful of course that's what we want and now of course I'm licking my lips about a very good match I want to say Guys, in the comments, I want you to let let me know. Yvonne and Shelton, best of five, right hand. Let me know in the comments who wins that one. Um, so do we have any left-handers in the group? Or do we all... Tina, you're a left-hander. Sarah, you're a left-hander. Beautiful. When did you find out, Tina, you're a left-hander? Because I... It took me about six months to realise... As we all do, we come in and we're like, right, our strongest off we go, unless you are uh, you do your sport with your left hand. But then, yeah, I found out that I'm actually a better puller on the left side. So I'm trying to make left hand great again. Were you always knew you were a natural left-hander? I think, I think so. I think I knew I was a royal, always a left-hander. But I learn better on my right, but I, my strength is my left, and I'm ah. comfortable with my left. Yeah. And is is there uh, how many guys have you have you pinned at training? Throw some names out there. Um, there's probably been a few, but yeah. Tina, Tina, <laughs> oh, give me some oh, name oh, names. Um, yeah, just a few. <laughs> but it, then, um, I'd rather do safety first, and you know, don't worry. <laughs> no, that's okay. So what what style, Tina? What is your style of pulling? Um, I love the hook. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, but I like the top roll as well. Like I learned the top roll first. That was my first ever training was the top roll. But um, over the last couple of years, it's the hook. Yeah. And, and what's, it, what's it like p- pulling... The Australian champion Vicky. What's it like pulling her? I train with her, and her, I just can't get around her hand, and her strength is phenomenal. What's it like oh, competing against Vicky? Oh, it's frustrating. Like she is the beast. Like the strength behind her is there's no worse to describe her as in her strength and technique and how she just. Bulldoze everyone. <laughs> uh, for for those that don't know, and for those that are watching, Vicky Fatali from uh, from Melbourne, uh, national champion. Yeah, just an absolute beast on the table. Sarah, I believe you've pulled Vicky as well, haven't you? Uh tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best way. The best way to yeah, explain best way it. Best to tried. describe it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cause, no. Yeah. Because how? Because how tall are you, Sarah? Uh five three. Yeah. So you do. So you're not the tallest. So yeah. Because no. um, Vicky, I think, comes in about five seven as well. So she's got height on her. Which yeah. And yeah, she's not wrong. Just... Like yeah, the hand size, the strength. It's yeah. It's it's dominating. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Shelton, have you found out? What, what your style of pulling is? What is it when you just come in and you get comfortable and you're like, I've got you now, I've, I've got you. Um, you're, not, you're not winning this one. 
Um, for me, it's mainly top roll, but um, just recently I've kind of developed, oh, what do they call it, the can opener? Oh, oh yes. I've, I've liked doing that a lot on the boys because they all have incredibly long fingers that just wrap and consume my hand. So yes. it's the only thing I can do to actually attempt to break out of their grip. Yeah, beautiful. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. And have you found yourself stuck on the YouTubes and, and, and watching people? Is there anyone after being in the sport now for a little bit that you've just, you, you enjoy watching? I really like him. I really like her and try and adapt yourself to, or do you just turn up to training every week and go, I'm just hanging out guys. I'm going to pin you all. Yeah. That second option is basically me at the moment still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. much going on in the, the world of Australian arm wrestling? Very small amount. That's okay. That's okay. Well, we're, that, that'll that make later on a bit interesting because there is a big super match happening in Perth at the end of the month. Uh, Lockie Adair and Ryan Scott. And I'm going to get everyone's predictions a bit later on. And if you know nothing about them, that's going to be even funnier. So I can't wait for that if you know nothing. Kaylee, Kaylee, the newcomer. The newcomer. Do you have a style? Of pulling, is there something that you've just really adapted to quickly? Uh, I'm definitely a top roller as well. Yeah. Um, it comes a lot more naturally than hooking for me. So I've had some guys trying to teach me to do that a bit better, and it's been helping. But yeah, I very naturally just try and top roll. Yeah, just top roll. Who cares? <laughs> Go away, hookers. We <laughs> we're, we're sick of yous. We we don't we don't like it. That's, that's, yeah, that's just the, the way it is. Now, I don't want to cause any tension here, but Celine and Yvonne have super matches against each other a lot. They compete against each other a lot. What's going to what's gonna happen now? Celine, say we have a super match next Wednesday because you guys um, had a bit of a muck around not that long ago. What are you going to do to beat Yvonne? I mean, Yvonne's flogging me at the moment. I was super impressed. She spent all of 2020 training, um, which was, yeah, incredibly impressive. I'm pretty sure, like, throughout the year she'd send me little updates and little snippets of her training, and I'm sitting at home with my Netflix and my couch being like, damn it, I need to get off my ass. <laughs> um, at the moment I'm working on my pronation because that's definitely one of my weak points um, with Yvonne where she seems to kind of sneak through that gap in um, – in my strength, my hands and my wrist is definitely where I lack. Um, not that anywhere else is all that much stronger, if we're being entirely honest. Um, but, yeah, just trying to work on my pronation and go for more of, like, a high hook, I suppose, at the moment because, um, like a few of the others have said, I'm trying to develop my hook a bit more because that's kind of my preferred at the moment. Definitely started um, with, the, with the top roll, though, just because my biceps were even smaller than they are now. I know it doesn't seem possible, but they were once smaller. Uh, so yeah, I, th I think for a lot of girls, it's easy to start into a top roll because it's less on your bicep and more about that manipulation with the hand strength and getting hand control, um, which for me at least was very fascinating. Um, but yeah, Yvonne's a bloody powerhouse and it's very helpful. I was thinking earlier when you were saying when she first started, I was like, I wouldn't let you not come back. I'm sorry. I would hunt you down <laughs> and bring you back to training because I need someone there. Um, and speaking of people at our club, that are badasses and have been training their little arms off. Um, I'd just like to give a shout out to Jasmine who hasn't been able to make it tonight. Jasmine was yes. the one who we put up a video of her the other day. She has been training for, I want to say three or four years now, maybe five. It's been a while. She's been training for ages. She's Robbie's girlfriend. Now, if anyone who doesn't know Robbie, Robbie is Andrew's boyfriend uh, for anyone in Victoria who knows that. Um, so she trains by herself up in Queensland. I don't think she's near um, any of the Brisbane or Gold Coast clubs. And then she comes down to Melbourne um, to see Robbie a few months a year um, to get some table time in. And she just has an absolute concrete wrist. Like she's got so much strength there. And you wouldn't know it by the size of her because she's a tiny little thing, but she's bloody intimidating on the table. Um, how do you go with Jasmine, Yvonne? Because I, um, I didn't see you guys the last week. Like compared to when we first train when I first got on the table with her like like you said you look at her and you you know you think she's not that strong no. she is solid with her hold so I actually had to push myself the extra bit you know pick up my speed just to have a decent match with her and now you know yeah she's still definitely you know making leaps and bounds improving you know on both arms 
and she's just yeah she's just brilliant to have a match with like I definitely yeah, want her to come more often but yeah it's just when you get, yeah, on, the she's table, when you get on the table you don't want to take her off the table <laughs> So true. We only have her a few months of the year, so we definitely get the most out of it. And Natalie, um, Nat Coots also couldn't make it tonight, but very special mention to Natalie, who's another powerhouse that we have training out of um, House of Pain, who I think Natalie was the first arm wrestler that I met at the 2017 Nationals. Her and Kaylee were the first two I met. Well, and yeah, and for anyone who's met Natalie, she is super intimidating until you actually have a conversation with her. She's an absolute sweetheart, and I adore I Natalie. Just about to say that, yeah. <laughs> just looks in like she's about to rip your heart out if you even look towards her. And then you, you have a chat with her, and yeah, you're just like, oh, mm. you, you're awesome. It's the same with same with her husband, Brett, as well. And all my dogs are running. What do you mean? Brett's a little softy. He's a marshmallow. No, that's what I'm saying. He's not intimidating. He's unit, and then when you get out <laughs> of chat with him, he's actually really good. Um, so, Kaylee, as you can see in Melbourne, these girls get to go head to head. Is there anyone, a uh, guy or girl, that just takes your eye and, like, I'm, I'm really gunning for you when I want to have, like, my first super match or I re- I'd love to draw you in the first round of the tournament? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't really had the pleasure of meeting most of these women. Um, so I'm really interested on all accounts. Yeah. It's, honestly, sorry. Don't, don't know enough about it to give a informed opinion. Is there anyone that turns up to Newcastle? Have you a, a, a guy or a girl that just, where you, yes. where you look at so the people that are coming we've had some, We've had some of the Sydney arm wrestlers coming up. So Mario, as in, like, top five on the right arm. He's been actually coming up and helping train and get people involved. Uh, we've also had Reese and Peter. And, yep. yeah, they've been coming up and they're really, really helping a lot because, you know, it's one thing to get people involved in a sport they haven't even really heard much about, but then to teach them all that technique that you never would have heard of. Yeah. It's really good to have some people with experience. Can I just ask, Kaylee, because you mentioned that you started at Newcastle after having to drive the bloody four hours to Sydney. How did you actually hear about arm wrestling in the first place to then go, yeah, I want to drive two hours to learn how to do that sport? How did you actually learn about it in the first place and want to try it? Uh, so I do rock climbing and one of the people I hang out with there he, he did arm wrestling, so he would talk about it constantly. And I was like, all right, whatever, I'll give this a go. And it ended up being fantastic, so I kept going back down there with him. That makes sense. And it's a great group of boys at Sydney. That's very understandable. And I'm sure that's definitely helped with your grip strength as well. <laughs> oh, rock climbers make phenomenal arm wrestlers. We have a few at our club and it is very, very frustrating. And you did bring up Mario Kaylee. And I'm just putting it out there. You want an exclusive in the, uh, from the Aussie arm wrestler. You're getting it here. Mario Tambarkas, listen here, bud. I want you to have a super match with Kaylee. And I will bet fifty dollars. Kaylee wins three nil. I support Rob that Weimer, as well. Aggressive, wants it, starts a new club, easily beats one of the best men in the world. My money's on Kaylee. So Mario, I love you, bro. I love you, but Kaylee's having you easy, easy. So there's my there's my first first prediction there. Um, Tina and Sheldon, is there is there anyone around your club that you wouldn't mind uh, having? Ma- oh, it doesn't even have to be your club. Is there anyone you're, you're interested in pulling? You feel your styles uh-huh. might match up, or I- even if there is someone at the club um, that you reckon that, w- that you can you can take or at least have a competitive match with. Um, I'd like to call. I, I like to have a match with Sarah and Matt. Natalie, yeah. just some training sessions. Yeah, not, not a match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'd love to see Tina in that because I've pulled you in competitions, Tina, and you were not nice on the table. I think it was the 2019 oh, no. Nationals yeah. in um in Adelaide. Yeah, you were brutal. I would love to see how you and Nat go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully there's a Nationals or some sort of competition. Hopefully... Yeah, some sort of state titles where either we can come to you or you guys can come to us 
because I think I think that would be that would be great. Um, we have to just uh, by the sounds of it, we have to rearrange our schedule to Sarah's timeline because she is flying each and everywhere around the states now. Sarah, you're being in Perth at the moment. Um, I know it's not really near Perth, but have you had a, a chance to grip up with Ryan Scott? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't at the training. No. I so think he was at. They don't know. He's officially the he? number one heavyweight in Australia and he's got a match with Lockie, as mentioned. But, yeah, but he's not a social media guy. So I was just, oh, I was hoping Sarah might have snuck in there. No, unfortunately not. No, that's all right. Now, just quickly skip Sheldon. Sheldon, is there anyone? Um, I've got Tina's answer. She wants to, uh, Tina just wants to pull anyone by the sands of it, and that's what I like. But is there anyone with you, Sheldon, that you wouldn't mind, that you feel your styles would, uh, you know, collaborate with, so to speak? Well, I do want to come over to Melbourne eventually to go with Celine and Yvonne, I think. I think that would be interesting to see where I'm at. I would love that as well because I've seen all your um, all your YouTube videos and all your training because, yes, Jake, Shelton has a YouTube channel. So when you asked her before who she's watching on YouTube, she's watching herself because she's got the best training videos, just saying. Guys, and that's a really there. good point. If any, and I keep cutting you off, Shelton. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just get too excited. That's what happens here when I'm on the microphone. I get too excited. But all you guys, what I need you to do, um, either during the stream now, if you can find somewhere else to get on YouTube or afterwards, jump in the comments and pump all of your links, whether it's to your arm wrestling club or your own personal arm wrestling channel. Like Sean, of course, go over and subscribe to the Aussie Arm Wrestlers. Stop bringing it up, everyone. But everyone, go and let's all, you know, everyone in the comments who or who watches this live stream later on, Let's help everyone out. We've got a big audience here with the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation. It's the governing body and we're wanting to build. And these are the people that are going to help us build it. Whether they're running clubs, whether they're a part of the, the committee, or they're just showing everyone their own journey. Like Shelton, get over. And so it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, subscribe to any of these channels. It's a little thing. It just gets everyone a bit excited. The people are, are willing to watch and enjoy the experience. So, guys, make sure anything. Sarah, even with your strength sports, if it's not to do with arm wrestling, of course, you support the sport. So the sport wants to support you. So anything that you're doing as well, chuck it in there. I just get too excited when I find out other people are starting their own YouTube, social media things. I think it's, I, I think it's unreal. And I just wish... Ryan Scott would as well. So, yeah. So, sorry about that, Shelton. And, yes, if you come to Melbourne, sorry, rephrase, when you come to Melbourne, we will organise some sort of... I will be in charge. I will be in charge. We will organise some sort of round-robin tournament-type thing. We will ensure at least Yvonne and Celine turn up because they'll be super excited when you come over. Tina, you get on the same flight as well. And get over, Sarah, get your agent to get in contact with me. We'll get you over as well. And Kaylee, we'll get you off mute and we'll get you over here as well. And we'll run some big round robin tournament to get this thing going. I'm too excited. Jess, did you hear that? We're going to have a big women's tournament. My wife's over there in the kitchen trying to make dinner quietly, but I'm just too excited. I've got fantastic women that are passionate about the sport. Jess will be the number one cheerleader besides me because I'll go on a bit too much. She's rolling her eyes at me, and I think she's just flipped me the Shelton bird. I think, no, she hasn't really. She's just smiling and laughing at me. But this, I think, I'd with be, all of us, this really liked. needs to happen. Yeah, I'd really like to um, uh, go head-to-head -head with Nat again. We have um, a rivalry, I think, that goes back quite a few years, and we've always had some good epic matches. So uh, it'd be good to get on the table with you again, Nat. <laughs> If, oh, guys, uh, for, for those that don't know, I love doing some silly, hilarious commentary over arm wrestling matches. So if any of you have any battles, even if they're at training, send them through to me. I'll commentate them and I'll pump them on the AAF channel. So if you guys have got some battles, like you just said, Sarah, you and Nat have just gone yeah, bang, should, head should, to head. Um, if you've got one. some, send me some. Because we need more ready bangs when it comes to women arm wrestling. I try and find it, but some just go too quick. 
and I need some more magic. So each and every one of you, if you have something uh, that can help me out, absolutely, absolutely, I need you guys to to pump it through. Oh, the excitement of just the potential. And I think if you all came over, I think it'd be great. Who would think they would win it if it was just you guys in the chat? Who would, you guys in the comments as well, let me know if this round robin, one, two, three, four, five, six, with these six fantastic athletes happen, who wins? It's a I think Sarah tournament. has us pretty much beat, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Okay, we might give Sarah a five kilo handicap and we might strap a dumbbell to her arm. So, Sarah, you're on a five kilo handicap, but. What do you reckon, guys? Or what do you reckon would be match of the night between these fantastic athletes? Let us know in the comments. Thank you, everyone, that is still sticking around. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think I think that would be great. I'm just I trying. think you'll be excited to hear about what we've got planned uh, later in the year, Jake, because we are planning on having a women's only comp what? later in the year just to get all the girls from around Australia together for one comp. There's no guys competing. It's all about us just for one day. So we are the main event of the day for this, and I'm scouting locations at the moment to find somewhere perfect and unique to get all us girls together. Uh, but I think it'd be a great opportunity to get as many women from around Australia because I know that not everyone could jump on this call today. I know there's a few girls from WA, like you mentioned, Sarah. We've got Kaylee in SA as well, um, yeah. who is a badass. My God, I miss Kaylee. She yeah, okay. hurts me in ways that I love with my wrists. Good Lord. Um, so we are having a women's only comp later this year. It is in the works. Chuck it in your calendars oh. when we announce the date for that. When? When is the day? First of all, the Aussie arm wrestler is putting his name in the hat to host the event. I would love to be a part of this event. This Who is else would fantastic. we have? <laughs> this is so good. I don't know what to do. I feel like I need to go for a power walk, but I've got to say with the live stream. Do we have a month or a date or something? It'll be, it'll be in September this year. So we want to make sure we've got enough of a gap before the over-the-top comp, of course, because there is a women's class for over-the-top. But it'll be in September. It'll be in Melbourne. Dates to be announced shortly. Jess, cross everything off in September. <laughs> everything. Get rid of it all. My brother's birthday's in September. Sorry, Luke. I'm not coming. Turning 46 isn't that special. 47 anyway. This is more important. That will be fantastic. And I really hope each and every one of you can make it wherever it is. Um... So September, so that'll give us a bit of time. If we need to start, um, I don't know if it starts some GoFundMe pages or some sponsorships. <laughs> Guys in the comments, let's try and help this out because we all seem to be able to go travel to competitions. But I really think this one time, well, it's not going to be the one time. It's going to be the first of many. But we really need to get behind this unbelievable event. And this is going to be a recurring event because this sounds like, and you know, when we see Kaylee in New South, um, Newcastle in New South Wales, you know, just starting a club and things like that. Shelton's coming on. Uh, Tina's driving two hours. Sarah's flying ar around the world. Yvonne's training when the world shut down. It just shows that the passion's there. It just shows that the talent is there and they need to be taken seriously. Uh, I don't have that much money, but I will try and chip in a few dollars to sponsor the event, to help the event. Um, if more people subscribe, then YouTube can sponsor the event. I'm sure the AAF will 100% get behind this because uh, Celine wouldn't have announced it if they weren't behind it. But if anyone is out there that can willing to sponsor an athlete or sponsor the event in September, I'm very excited. I am very excited about Over the Top being in the 80s, and I'll get to that in a moment. But I think this is fantastic, and I hope everyone uh, almost knocked my microphone over, almost fell off the chair <laughs> and fainted at the same time because I think this is unbelievable. I just uh, think it's so important that we make sure that we have a space for women within the sport. And I think we need to make it more clear that we are here and we are training and we are passionate about it. And for new women who are coming, making sure that they know that they're welcome and they're not just the two girls in the corner on the table training over there by themselves, that we're, you know, we're a part of this sport just as much as anyone else. We're a much smaller part, both physically and 
by numbers, but uh, we're doing our best. No, I disagree with you. I don't think you're a smaller And I think making sure that we have this space for women within the sport. Absolutely, absolutely. That's very kind of you. That's very kind. We, you know, you cannot arm wrestle by yourself and there may be a time where I come to training and one other person might turn up and it could be a female. So don't think you're a small part. You're a huge part of the sport, just as important as the men. Just appears that more men are joining. But that is a very nice segue as we go over to South Australia to Shelton. Shelton, the Real Cup. You got to compete at the Real Cup. Now, as Celine was saying, sometimes you guys can be pushed off to the corner because there's either not enough competitors or things like that. For someone that's training in the sport, for someone that is loving what is going on in the sport, if my research is told me correctly, there was three competitors. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So for someone like myself, I can train to the gills, you know, get hyped up, train all, and I know I'm having mate, probably a minimum of 10 in my comp. How does it feel when you turn up and there's three? Basically, we already know, like, we're not going to have a competition. So we're just like, oh, what do we do now? Like, basically, the tournament at the Real Cup, the girls were supposed to go into the beginner's class with the guys. So that was a huge, like, for me, I was just like, okay, so I'm glad that I will get the opportunity to pull, but I'd be pulling up against guys that were much heavier and were basically going to knock me out of the thing straight away, which is fine. At least I had that opportunity. But thankfully, we actually ended up getting Matt Connolly's wife and one of the other, Tyler's girlfriend, Carly, managed to get her to sign a waiver form and then we just did a round robin that day. So I'm very grateful that we had that opportunity. Beautiful. Yeah, it would be. And I'll go around the room and, and, I'll, and I'll, um, I want to get everyone's opinion on this because I think uh, people that are watching this stream um, just really need to get and understanding, you know, we did laugh earlier with Sarah, like she is the Darwin scene. Um, you know, we, we had a laugh and things like that. But you've got to understand, guys, that when we're, we're all so excited to pull. And, you know, I think when we announced Over the Top, I think I've dreamt about it every night. It's my favourite movie of all time. Um, I was born in 1984, so it's the only reason I'm in arm wrestling. So, like, I get excited knowing there's going to be hundreds of guys there. So, so Tina, you've been in the sport five, six years now, 2015. Um, first of all, what's the most you've ever had in a comp, female-based? Uh, and second, um, how, how does it feel knowing that when a, when a competition does come up, you may or may not be competing due to numbers? Um, I think it was 2017 or 18 back at uh, Arnold's Classics where there was probably about 11. Um, I could be wrong on the year, but because um, I'm so competitive, I'm hoping there's enough women to compete. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm glad you mentioned that because Presidential Phil has just announced in the comment over the top. Presidential Phil, thank you for your help earlier on. You're a very great guy. I appreciate what you do for the sport. Over the top, we'll have $500 per women's class winners across four classes. Cash money for women. Get yourselves to Queensland. Now, there is something to train for and get excited because then if there's only one or two in the class, you've got a better shot at winning 500 bucks minus the Aussie Arm Wrestlers cut because you love me. Thank you. It's very nice of you ladies to sign that waiver. Uh, yeah, so very good announcement. Thank you, Presidential Phil. Um, yeah, so, so Tina, yeah, so uh, just is, is it deflating? Does it make you want to step away from the sport? Uh, even though you are very competitive or do you just sit there and go, shit, I, I'm, I'm just going to come and beat the men then. You don't want to have women for me, I'll just come and beat the men. I think that's part of it. But, um, yeah, it's, just, it's in the blood. I want to compete and the more women that's in it, the more merrier. That's, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm with you on that one. And Yvonne, I mean... Um, like to get your input. So what happened was uh, late last year, early this year, I wanted to organise a whole heap of super matches. The first person to put their hand up for a super match was Yvonne. And then we just couldn't 
Um, Celine, I think you were traveling at the time. You and Andy were somewhere else, so you couldn't do it. But Yvonne was the first one, put their hand up. And as we're trying to organize super matches, I think the day because of Corona and all that. But how does it feel, Yvonne, when like you come to training and you hear me going, oh, I've got you versus you and you versus you. And then like you and I were going to have a super match just so you had a ready go. Well, how, how does it feel when you turn up the, the same as all the other ladies when... There's, yeah, there's, star I'm, I'm going to use the word starved of opportunity. Well, look, you know, if someone rocks up and I can pull them, then, you know, I get to at least, you know, all the training I've put behind me, I get to use it. But if not, then, you know, at least I, you know, put my hand up, like you said, or, you know, go ahead and look, you know, look at the experience, have a look at how other people pull and just learn because, you know, no point not just, oh, there's not going to be other people that I can pull with, so I'm just going to ditch the event. You know, even if you go and support the boys or, you know, even just go out there and show, like, look, women are interested too, you know, just happy to enjoy the experience, really. Oh, well, Hello. I'm glad you all like arm wrestling because if this was a reality TV show, none of you would make it. You are all so polite with your answers. I would be like, oh, fuck this. This is ridiculous. I want competitors. Sort it out. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, I'll go support them. Even Zeus is cracking. That's right, Zeus. Need more competitors. Go sort them out. He's going out in the backyard to find you some competitors. It's just unbelievable. Very, we do very more polite. now than we used to. My gosh. I mean, I think we might not be as disappointed now because numbers have increased so much. Like, you know, back at the 2016 Nationals, I had to pull because only two girls showed up. I don't think Sarah could make it on the day. It's so only two girls. And then at last Nationals, I don't remember the exact number that we had, but I think it was double digits. I think it was around about 10, give or take. So oh, even though it's so much less than the guys, it's so much more than what we used to have. Oh, if you can get 10 in a class, because I remember um, at 2019, Arnold's, my wife had to pull just so you guys had three. No, um, actually, I just wanted to hold her hand. It, that was that was all an excuse. I just wanted to hold her hand. That's why we got her in the class. Sorry, just to clarify that point. That's Okay. <laughs> She's got hey Jake, I'm wrist. gonna have to I'm gonna have to say goodbye because my my phone's about to die where I am. No, that is okay, <laughs> so Sarah. Thank else you, you wanna... so much uh, for jumping yeah. on. It was really good to actually have a proper chat uh, with you. Um, anything to to do with what you're doing? Chuck it in the comments and things like that. So if you've got any matches that you want me to commentate, send them through. I really appreciate you taking your time out, and okay. hopefully, oh, well, if you get. If I get Nat's permission, I'll send you our, um, I think it was 2017 Nationals, and we were both in a deep book, and it went forever. So that will be a perfect one for you to commentate hey, on. I will speak on behalf of Nat. <laughs> bring it, bring it on. That one. And one one last thing, the uh, super match coming up between uh, Lockie and Ryan Scott. My money's on Lockie. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, you do have a good uh, relationship with Lockie. Yep. Very yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a... An amazing superstar. Beautiful. That's one. That's Definitely one my favourite arm wrestler in Australia anyway. <laughs> yeah, very, very One for nice. lucky. Very yeah. brave of you to say that. No, thank you very much, Sarah. Sarah's tip <laughs> is a lucky. Um, that's great. That is fantastic. And thank you so much for taking the time out in your busy schedule, Sarah, for, for jumping on and having a chat. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And we'll have to do another one of these. It's 100%. been good. 100%. Yeah, I'll have to do another one. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Happy arm wrestling. See yes. ya. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's hopping out. So, uh, Kaylee, speaking of competitions, is uh, do you guys have anything planned uh, up there in Newcastle or are you guys just more let's just get consistent numbers and let's keep rolling on? Yeah, we, it's one of the things we're sort of trying to plan for it, but we do want to get in a few more weeks before we seriously consider putting a date down for, and it would be in club competition as well to yep. start. Yeah, ab absolutely. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Don't let any of those Sydney boys with all their R's in power turn up. Don't just, we'll uh, lock the doors for them. I mean, let Mario in so you can pin him and then... You guys, you guys have your, have your thought. Um, 
So just explain to everyone, Kaylee, how much effort it is to start an arm wrestling club. Uh, you're going to have to give me a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's right. She's back it off. That's okay. <laughs> we can we can move on. Poor thing. No, nothing wrong. Technical issues. Oh, I keep banging on for, for way too long. I'll just quickly go through. What have we got? Prize money. Yeah, everyone's banging on about the prize money, but that is... Yeah, did he mean four weight classes when he said four classes? I'm assuming that he's referring to weight classes because we've only ever had two weight classes for yeah. girls. Yeah. Uh, we've only ever had lightweight and heavyweight, and even that was amazing. I remember when we used to just have open class for girls, and that was bloody rough. And then it went to over and under 65s. But Presidential Phil, if you're still around, can you answer that? I'll just read the comment again. Over the top, we'll have $500 per women's class winner across four classes. So I would assume... Unless he means, unless he means left and right. Oh. So right way to be right. That would, that would make sense. And the bubble's been burst. Oh. Oh, at, least that's, at least that's helpful rather than an open class. <laughs> no, that's okay. So, so that'll be interesting. Um, so, Kaylee, we'll go back to you. Hello. Yeah, sorry about that. No, that's okay. Um, Let us know. What is, what is it like just running an arm wrestling club? Uh, it's, it's its own experience, really. So there's the first step of, you know, satisfying all the requirements with legality, especially insurance and the uni, putting their logo on things. Um, but then there's the next side of, you know, trying to put yourself out there and talking to people and just generate the interest because, you know, no one's going to know about it until you really get that advert out there. Um, so we've been trying to push getting a Facebook up, getting Instagram up, um, having our stall at O Week. So a lot of that, you know, we've, we've got a committee, so we spread it out over the four of us, which has been really good and everyone, you know, chips in and gets things done. But it's been really fun to see it. And I think we gave ourselves enough time near the end of last year to start building it that we were ready this year. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's been it's been interesting. Thanks. Yeah, and it's funny how you say I'd spread out over the four of us. That's st- that's still a lot of work for four people, especially with the numbers that you're getting in. All right, I'm going to go around the room, going to ask you a couple of questions before we wrap it up because uh, I reckon I could, you, I've found out so many interesting things about you guys uh, in this. I could probably bang on for about 10 hours, but I want to make sure something like this is a regular thing. So I'm going to start with you, Ivan. I forgot what my questions were. First question. Yeah, all right. I, I remember them now. I, I've got to stop thinking. I'm only going to confuse myself. First question. Will you go to the over-the-top competition in Queensland in November? Oh, I don't know. I think we'll have to come closer to the day to decide whether or not because I'm still really focused on just training more and more because obviously with that huge gap we had, but I would be... I would be keen. Yvonne, I'm putting you in my suitcase and oh. taking you with me. Yes. You're I'm not missing it. it. I'm sorry. Oh, Yvonne, You're not just missing say yes. it. Just say yes, Yvonne. Oh. Yes. That like is I question said, one. So everyone's getting the same question. So question one, are you going to over the top? Yes, you are, Yvonne. Don't be silly. <laughs> Number two, have you seen over the top? I'm going to have to say no, but I'll give, I'll give, that'll be my homework tonight. I'll work on that. I'll watch it. I'll do it. <sighs> Don't hate me. Guys, guys, <laughs> I, I, I really try and help the, the, the women in the sport here. If I can just get serious with YouTube for a moment, I really try and help the sport. And, and when these people are in the greatest sport in the world and, and not yet seen the greatest movie in the world, um, my heart breaks. If I was a cartoon, my heart would come out and it would shatter. No, that's all right. That, that is all right. That's okay. But yes, that is your homework. You can't go to over the top tournament until you have seen over the top. And question number three, with this big super match happening at the end of March, even if you have no idea, who do you think's going to win out of the Milkman Ryan Scott and the Anvil Lockie Adair? Who? Hey, me? I can't. I don't know. I haven't watched enough to really decide and make up my mind who would win. Exactly. So just say a name. That's what makes it even better. 
nah, I can't decide. Nah, I'm going to leave that one. <laughs> oh, fancy it is. Uh, just to clarify, presidential fill, four classes in total. So two classes left and right arm, which is good. Um, yeah, which is good. Just trying to go in the comments. Work needs to be done. Oh, yeah, no, that's all right. We can check those comments later. Okay, mumbling to myself. That's what I love about YouTube because I can sit here and talk to myself. But I've got fantastic guests on if you haven't already support women's arm wrestling. We are moving over to Shelton. Shelton Bird is the word. What is the word? First of all, are you going to go to Over the Top in Queensland November? I believe we are. Oh, beautiful. We bringing up a team. I love it. Second of all, have you seen Over the Top? Yes, I have. Oh, <laughs> That's how you answer a question, Yvonne. Shelton has just gone to the top of the Christmas card list. Thank you very much. Uh, we can just wrap it up there. Shelton Bird is the best female arm wrestler in the world. That is a mate. No, thank you. That is awesome. And third, uh, interested to get your answer because you don't really watch much arm wrestling outside of here. Um, two heavyweights in Australia going to go head to head at the end of the month. Who's going to win? The Milkman Ryan Scott, the Anvil, Lockley Adair. Lachlan Adair. <laughs> From what I've heard at training, I'm going to go off the judgment of myself and say Ryan Scott. Ooh. From what I've heard, I've heard he's fast. So going off of that, I'll go for him. Sorry to everyone else. But no, don't say sorry. We can all try and pick winners. That's just, that's all it is. That's fun. Beautiful. So that's one for Ryan, one for Lockley and a fence sitter. Uh, you've got time to change your mind though, Yvonne. And... Don't kick me in the nuts on Wednesday night for this. Tina. Tina, <laughs> Tina, Tina. Let's go. You going up with the team, Queensland, over yes. the top. Yes. All right. Before you answer the next question, can someone help Tina out on two things? Either someone help pay for a petrol because she seems to be driving everywhere. Two hours to training, guys. Come on, help her out. Or someone chip in for the flights because she's really putting in the effort and has been a stalwart in this spot. So Tina's going. That's fantastic. Have you seen Over the Top? Yes, I have. Yes, you yes. have. That's how they do it in South Australia. Magnificent. This is so good. Uh, for those in the comments, if you haven't seen Over the Top, just go. Well, it's free on YouTube. I will lend you my DVD. It's a bit worn out. I've watched it 147,000 times, but it is exciting. And third question... Ryan, Lockie, who's your pick? I'd have to say Milkman. Milkman. But it's going to be a close one. It'll yeah. be a close one, I reckon. Oh, it's going to be an unbelievable so match to yeah, determine is. the number yeah. one in Australia. Cannot wait for yeah. this one. I got to head off, so no, thanks for Thank me. you very much, Kaylee. Uh, guys, get around the Newcastle Club. Kaylee uh, has got to go. Thank you so much. We're going to wrap up soon anyway, but thank you so much, Kaylee. Want to get more people from Newcastle involved on this podcast next time. So uh, we'll definitely be in touch. Awesome. Okay, thanks, bye. See ya. See Kaylee. Now it's feeling like a reality show. Then there were four. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I always appreciate it. Sometimes I can bang on a bit and we have been banging on a bit today. And then uh, Celine finishes off on a high. Uh, you kind of have to go to over the top if you're taking Yvonne in your suitcase. I am, um, yes. I'm hoping that I get the, to referee a few matches as well. Fingers yeah, crossed. And you're on the AAF committee, so... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a bit of a dick move if I didn't go, go, I think. I asked you on the live stream, but for the new people, have you seen Over the Top? I have, yes. I believe it was almost... It was, was it your first date? Oh, maybe second date. Second date. Maybe we'll go over the top. First, first date was uh, watching a compilation reel of John Brazank videos, of course. That was our first date. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And then <laughs> um, Milkman, Anvil, who's winning that one? I, I think I think I gave my answer last time, but I'll I'll say it again for anyone who's listening. I still think that uh, that Ryan will be taking this one out. Like Tina said, I don't think it'll be an easy match, and I am really looking forward to this. I think it's hard because we see so much of Lockie's training, but. 
Ryan's so much more secretive. We don't really see his training. He doesn't really put up a lot of content, so he's a lot more secretive about it. But I definitely don't doubt him. He's never given us any reasons to doubt his incredible strength. So I'm very excited to see that match. But I do think that uh, the Milkman will be taking that one away as a win. Beautiful. Bit of a landslide. So I think that's three... Three Ryan Scotts and one to Lockie and one uh, Yvonne. Do you have an answer? Again, I'm sitting on the fence. Nah, that's oh. all right. <laughs> no, that's all right. Uh, guys, guys, we will we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I really appreciate your time. I think it's fantastic that, uh, you know, as well as Kaylee and Sarah um, that had to leave the stream a little bit earlier. Everyone that has stuck around and just fed the uh, the YouTube uh, comments and live stream and things like that. I really appreciate everyone getting behind some of the stalwarts uh, here from around the country that are really holding on to women's arm wrestling. I think it's just unbelievable what everyone, what you guys are doing. And what I've really appreciated is you guys haven't given up. I think that's some of the, the things that, especially us guys, tend to just forget because we turn up, we get to pull whoever we want, go home, arms are sore, not a problem. But you guys uh, really have to fight and scrap to get things that you want. But you are making it go in the right direction, which is very, very exciting. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for coming on. We'll definitely be doing this again real soon. Afterwards, and of course, if um, all the others that jumped on, in the comments, drop all your links to your club, shout them to your own YouTube channel. Uh, everyone that's on here, make sure, obviously, to the AAF and the Aussie Arm Wrestler. Uh, and then also, go over and subscribe to Shelton. Hopefully, we can get you a few more. Guys, do you have anything else you want to say before we wrap up? I just want to say thanks, Jake. I love how much of a spotlight you're putting on women in the sport and like with the live stream that we had the other week and how much, um, yeah, how much of a highlight you're putting on us because we definitely feel a little bit forgotten sometimes. So I love um, that you bring us back into the limelight a little bit. It's really nice of you to have us on. No, I was more than happy to the way and this is why for me it always pays to be nice because Celine, the way you treated my wife at 2019 Arnold's, I will never forget that. So that's why... I've always it. been a fan in helping women's arm wrestling. You were just very polite uh, to my wife. And as everyone knows, I'm in love with my wife. So um, so I really appreciate that. And that's why it was one of the first things I wanted to do when uh, I built a partnership with the AAF was uh, put a lot more focus on the, the fantastic women. And you've all got, you, you're all like got wicked personalities. Like <laughs> uh, a lot more... Um, out there than than the men. So, I've, I've, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I've had a lot of fun. No, it's good to be on and great to see the girls again. It's been a long 2020 oh, without seeing yeah. any of my my fave girls. <laughs> Tina, before your 37 hour drive to practice and back from the country, is there anything you want to say? Well, I just want to say thank you for just putting us on the map with the um, media and what you do and the MC that you do. So. Thanks to Selena and all the girls out there. And catch up soon. Hopefully catch up soon. Shelton. Yeah, just want to say, like Selena Tino said, thank you so much for even the opportunity to do this because it's really good to have the limelight on the girls for a change. Yeah, absolutely. And Yvonne, before you kick me in the shins on Wednesday night, got any <laughs> final words about arm wrestling? I'm just super excited. I'm glad that I got to at least meet some of you guys over this. So hopefully in the future we get to meet up, get on the table and just have fun. Like I'm so excited that this is becoming more than what it is. It's great. <laughs> it is coming exciting. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Just everyone have a ready bang of a week. Get on the tables, get trading, support these women in the sport. Things are happening. You need to stick around. And the fact that we're having a women's only comp in September, clear your schedules. Make sure you support anything these guys do because they're always there at every single event and they're starting to feel a little bit forgotten. So let's make sure they feel as special as all of us coming in there. Guys, that's it for me. Thank you, everyone, in the comments for jumping on and we will all speak soon.